So um, this is class four. This is class four. Class four. We're gonna. I told you, class four is gonna be. You're gonna be practical. You know. All the while we'll be doing. Um, we'll be doing a cherries, cherries section, right? We'll be doing cherries section. So. Class four. So in class four, uh, like I like I said, like I said, like I told you that uh, in class four, I'm going to be giving you. you no, know, I'll, I'll be telling you that everything, anything I teach, I'm going to be giving you video format of it, right? So today we're going to be doing. Uh, anything we are we are learning. Well, we're on the key of C. Key C is what C D E L G A B C. Remember, I said I'm going to be teaching you scale in class five. So don't miss class five. So we're still on the key of C. Remember, I remember we said there are altogether 12 keys in the piano. 12 keys, right? We have 12 keys now, right? Now, out of the 12 keys, we are only we are we are playing on one. We are playing on key C. That means there are 11 keys, still 11 more keys to go. So we have key C. There are still more 11 keys to go. So let me show you the 12 keys. This is C1, C sharp 2, D3, D sharp 4. So you can either say C sharp or D flat. Remember, I already told you. But me, I like to call shit. As a professional, you cannot be saying C sharp or D flat. D sharp or E flat. You can't be do saying that. You either use either sharp or true or flat or true. The reason why I had to, I had to teach you so that you can know the names, either, this one is called C sharp or D flat, is for emphasis. And also it's for, it's, for, it's for advanced knowledge so that when you want to teach other people, you will know that this is also called C sharp or D flat. This is also D sharp or E flat. So you can, so you're able to know, right? So, but for the course of me teaching you, I'll be calling it sharp or flat. Hope you know. So the 12 keys are what? C1, C sharp 2, D3, D sharp 4, E, E5, F6, F sharp 7, G8, G sharp 9, uh, A 10, B, A sharp 11, and then B 12. So there are 12 keys. But in these 12 keys, all these 12 keys have their own properties, their own family. Everything that C has, all other keys have their own too. Everything that I'm playing on C, you sh as a keyboardist, as a professional pianist, you're not supposed to transpose. I understand that trans a lot of keyboardists or musicians do transpose. Transposing means you cannot play on, uh, for example, they are singing on the key F sharp. They are singing on F sharp. So you, you, can you couldn't play on F sharp, so you... You will not transport this F sharp, you will not brought it to F or you brought it to C. It's a lazy man's work. In my class, I won't allow transport. <laughs> to play hockey is not actually hard. It's just rehearsals, you know. That is all about transport and the rest. So to play all keys is not actually hard. I'm going to be dealing on this in the advanced master's class. I'm going to be teaching you how to play all the keys. All the keys, you know. I, I you know, um, to stand that from, or to become, an, to become an exception, to be an exceptional pianist, you have to learn how to play all keys. Do you understand? You have to learn how to play all keys. So I'm going to be dealing on this in the advanced master's class. Like I told you, the advanced master's class is a one month training. It's a one month training, and the tickets are almost almost out. The tickets are almost sold out. There, there are very many few tickets to go. So, for those that are registering now, there is a token. But later on, the price will go up. The registration fee will go up. So, chat up the admin and secure your spot and register as soon as possible. Okay, so let's go on to let's go on to where we stop in our 
in our lesson four. I said in lesson four, we're going to be doing fingering. I already taught you there are 12 keys in the keyboard or piano, right? So I want to show us the particle section in fingering.